Hello? Yes, this is uh, Harry Jacobs, fifth class minor. You want me to do what? It's my day off. Let me get this straight. You want me to suit up, get swallowed by a beast, mine gems, and if I survive, be pooped out by the beast? That is absolutely ludicrous. I will not do it. The union will be... What do you mean the union said I should do this? I didn't volunteer for this. No, I, I didn't read the fine print. Okay. I'll be there soon. So we are here ready to play for the monster. Basically a very similar setup. However, now we have an offering. I just had to move the dice out of the way. We still have our cards here. We have a slightly different uh, minor board because we have our robotic minor here. Um, he starts in this spot. This is the regression track. Every time he picks up a tool, he's gonna move closer to the win condition. I can spend the types of bacteria out of my hand and I'm because I'm going to have a hand in this game as playing with the beast and I can regress him regress him forward um, and of course he'll get some points too for where he is in the regression track and he, he, and he has a slightly different way of playing as does the monster uh, we also uh, a slight difference of the uh, two-player game of course is that we don't use these uh, I think I don't know what the cards are called I'll put them in the, uh, I, I think they're mutation cards. If that's not correct, then we'll, ref we'll, we'll uh, make it uh, make that a change. But other than that, basically what happens is, is we're going to take our cards, as we did before, we'll give them a little bit of a mix. We're going to take our seven cards and want to fill our track. Three, four, Six and seven. Now, one of the changes is we're going to have to buy these cards as opposed to just taking them. And of course, what we're going to be doing is having to buy these cards first of all by ensuring that there is uh, four energy. And the way, of course, you get energy is uh, the number of crystals on the uh, board and you can see there's actually three crystals here and then I would have to get rid of one of my immunity cards in my hand or one of these cards in my hand but at the same time I also have to make this condition which is to uh, make sure that there's greater than two green gems which there aren't so I really can't buy this one at all actually so uh, let's uh, go on so off we go. We are going to roll the dice. Now, one of the big differences, we're going to roll the dice one at a time. So one, two, and six. And we're going to start with the highest dice, the uh, highest dice first, and then we're going to make our way to the lowest dice along this track. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take minor actions based on the robotic actions of the minor. So first thing that we're going to do is roll and place the uh, dice into the time slots. Then we're going to do the six first and two and the one. And then we're going to then do the bacteria. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the six and look at one, two, three, four, five, six. And it says, is there a gem? Unfortunately, there is a gem. So we're going to pick that card up. And that is the blue. And that is first of seven. He only needs seven here. And that comes down. That card has been done. Then he comes over the two. He looks at the two slot. No, no gem. It's not yellow, so we can't eliminate it. There are no uh, immune response cards. You can't eliminate that. 
He's going to come over here and pick up a blue gem, which doesn't exist. We come back down and we can eliminate the bacterial card right here. So this card just goes away. And finally, the one spot. The one says, is there a crystal? There is a black crystal. So that is not a good start for me, but a great start for our, our robotic miner. And that was the black crystal, which is right here. At this point in time, everything moves down. We have a green, which gets attacked. So that comes off, of course. At which point in time, it is the beast's turn. The first thing the beast does is fill. Now, one of the things I didn't do is take my hand. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I refill this truck from my hand, keeping in mind that I might want to... Uh... So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put... Uh... We're going to look at Collapse. If there are two crystals of the same type in the track, you can discard one and replace it with the top stomach card of the deck. We actually have that. We might want to buy that, but we have to have two purple crystals on the track. So that is not helpful because I don't have purple crystals. So I really can't collapse it. So we might want to mimic, but I need greater than two green crystals here. So it really isn't going to help us at all. So what I suspect we're going to have to do is try to screw this guy up. So keeping in mind that, you know, we can get crystals um, and we want to look at here. So green might be something that we want to uh, invest in here. So let's certainly uh, put maybe a green here. But we don't want that crystal there right away. So there's a there's a crystal, green crystal. Now, here's a purple crystal that we need for the collapse. One, two, three, four. So I might consider put that tool there. One, two, three, four, five. Here's just a blue crystal. Now, I am going to put this purple crystal on here in hopes that I get two crystals. Okay, so we have refilled the deck. Uh, I can do a acquire one immune response. I We've already been through this. I don't have two greens. I don't have two. I'm not sure about the two wrenches. Let's just take a look at that. Of course, that's two tools. So we could actually look at spread, but I don't know, really know what spread does other than gives me some points perhaps at the end and helps get five in. So I think what we're going to do, we do have two tools. It costs me three crystals. One, two, three, already in the thing. So we are going to buy a offering. And we'll put that down here. So that's the first of five. And we will replace that. And then we are going to then refill my cards up to seven. So I need four more cards. One, two, three, and four. And then we go through the whole thing again uh, for our miner. Whoops. So it is our miner. We have a four, a two, a one. Starting here, four. One, two, three, four. You can see that we have a gem in the fourth spot. So un unlucky us, our miner is going to get that gem. And we're going to move down. We are in a two spot. Do we have a gem? Do we have bacteria on either side? Do we have a card? That is offed. That is gone. <sighs> so close. And then one. Is there a gem in the first spot? No. Is there a stomach card? No. Is there a tool? No. Is there a bacteria? No. We'll just remove the card. Done. Everything moves down for me. We will attack the red. That's fine. And we'll move that down. I have three cards. We've got two greens. It would be... There's always a chance that he could wind up when I never refilled. One, two, three. So what do we want to try to do? He's already got the white and he's got a purple. So we, we can, and we can try to get maybe two yellows in a row and I can pick up the mucus layer. 
Okay, so let's see. Do we have two yellows? We do have two yellows, but it does potentially give him a black. So I'm going to save that to the end. I'm going to put the green here. And I'm going to put the two yellows here. And then I'm going to look at the mucus layer for three. We have one gem, two gems, three gems. So we certainly can afford the mucus layer without having to buy anything. And we'll bring out a new one. Okay, so we've done that, the mucus layer. And we're going to refill to for three cards. One, two, three. We go back to our hunter. Da, 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 or minor, I should say. Four, three, and four. So we're going to start here. Four. One, two, three, four. No. It is not a gem. Is it a tool? No. Do we have bacteria on either side? No. Do we have a stomach card? Gone. Wow. Come over here. Four. We know there's no gem. Is there a card? No. Is there a tool? No. Is there bacteria on either side? No. We'll just remove the card. Three. No. So it, there is no gem. There is no bacteria on either side. There is no turd, but there is a tool. So that gets removed. We will attack with a green bacteria. That means he's going to lose a white, but he already has a white there. So not a big deal. Uh, I mean, or in that case, it's a green. There we are. So we've, we're in good positions with green. If we can get a lot of green down, that would be really good on our part. So we are going to refill, and we're going to be looking to put a ton of green down if we can. Um, even red or yellow at this point would work too, but we, we have to be careful how we do this because we could wind up um, screwing ourselves. So we're going to put a green down for sure. And uh, maybe we could put a blue down. And do we have a red, blue crystals? I don't really want to give him another. What's looking over here? We need two green crystals if we want to. Okay, well, if we had two green crystals, we have purple, purple. Okay, so that doesn't work for me. Oops, we need the two yellow. Mimic, if we have the yellow bacteria. We have the two yellow bacteria here, so we could get this mimic card. So that would be a good one to get for us. So, um, and it's four though. So one, two, you know what? We'll put this third purple here. And then what we're gonna do is got, we've got one, two, three, and I'm gonna have to get rid of four. We have two yellow bacteria in the strain. So we're gonna get this mimic and uh, we have to use a non crystal card. There we go. We're gonna buy the mimic. And it basically says, if the bacteria has reached the third level, you immediately win. And that's the yellow bacteria. So we're hoping for the yellow bacteria. That is it. We're going to pull up three cards. One, two, three. That gives us our hand of seven. We are back to, we have a one. That's not good. We have a five. And we have another five. So we're going to start with this five. One, two, three, four, five. We have uh, no tool, no, no, no crystal, no green on either side. We have one card that's already gone. Th these cards in the this particular play just go so fast. Then we go over here, five, we know there's no, we know there's no card, we know there's one, two, three, four, five, there's a tool that goes, that's gone. One, yes, so there's a purple. Everything slides down. However, we do know that we are we have green, so the green attacks him. So green is in the the second spot. That's not too bad. Now we are going to refill. So we we really would like to keep. Well, we have we have two red crystals here. Well, we're gonna do that. Okay, maybe we can get two two bacteria. I think that's bacteria, isn't it? Yeah, that's bacteria or greater than two greens, which we do. So we could get a mimic, another, try to get another mimic and try to get the greens. So let's, let's get a, a, a green down. Oh, I don't have another green though. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what, I'll, you know, I, 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 I almost want to, do we have a blue? No, uh, we have this red? No, we're gonna have to, we might have to give him a crystal. 
just to get some things going here. Um, ah, boy, I really hate to do that. Uh, let's give him a red for six. And another two away up here. Okay, can I buy anything? Not really. We have crew. If I have two, I have more than two. Increase hand size by one card. I need five though. One, two. And I could get rid of two non-crystal cards. I need to get three, three non, and I don't have that. So basically I can't buy anything. So we're back to our minor. That was kind of nasty on my part. Six, one, three, so six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He has a tool in the sixth position. So we're gonna take that, that's done. Could have come over here, three, one, two, three. There is no gem, there is no stomach card, there is no tool, there's no bacteria on either side. We just lose the card. And then we do the one. There is a black here, so we're going to move that. The offshoot of that, of course, is the yellow is now going to come and attack him. There we are. So we're hoping that maybe we can keep that yellow card. Now we have to refill. And I forgot to pick up my three cards. One, two, three. So we really want to make sure there's some yellow out here. The yellow is out there, so this guy is safe. The yellow is there, so we've got some potential here. We've got this red, or this is the orange, isn't it, or the red. Uh, our robotic miner is still here. He's got two tools, actually, so he should be right here. So uh, he's, he should be regression because he has, has gotten at least two tools. Uh, so one of the things I really need to do is move him down this way, and I can do that by spending cards, of course. And I would need a blue and a yellow for that. Do I have a blue? Yes, I do. Do I have a yellow, though? I don't have a yellow, I don't believe. No, I don't. So it doesn't really help me. I really would like to get another green onto the board. Do we have another green? No, we don't. We don't have another yellow. Um, red, perhaps. I really don't want to give him a blue, but okay, or a red, but we'll give him blue. Uh, you know what? You know what? I almost want to give him a red because there's a chance, always a chance that if he got that, we could off two red and then there's no way he can win. He'd have to use the second scenario and basically we'll just put another blue down. Phew, I don't think I can get anything. Two green, no, two red. I do have two red bacteria. I could buy some gas. which means immediately after filling the in track, if there are three or more red, uh, ooh, that is, I could regress him. And I, so there is a possibility, but I need three. We have one crystal, two crystals, three crystals. Might as well take this guy. But I can't do anything until the next turn. Refill, one, two, three, four, I think. Four, perfect. Now I am playing fairly quickly here. Or trying to play fairly quickly because this is a quick game. I will separate this video out though, so we're gonna have three videos here. I think two starting with five one, two, three, four, five. Does he have a crystal? Yes, and it is a it looks like the red or orange, it looks like the red. So we've inadvertently giving him the red crystal, not good for us. Four, one, two, three, four. We inadvertently have the yellow, but he doesn't need that. He doesn't have the tool. He doesn't have a yellow. We have that stomach card, which just didn't help us at all. And so that is the end of the four. Two, uh, is there a crystal? No, but there is a tool. There it goes. He gets attacked by yellow. He's got one more yellow attack and he might lose the game. But again, he only needs basically two crystals, and one of them is our on the board, which is the blue. So we got to be a little bit careful about what we do here. So uh, there's an orange crystal. We certainly don't want to give him that. I certainly would like to keep a yellow crystal and maybe a blue crystal. There we are. So uh, we're going to put a yellow down because I think we want to get give, give him an opportunity to to. The orange crystal he doesn't have. So we have a green. 
and he has the red crystal so you know what that, that doesn't hurt to have that there is there anything I can buy uh, not really well two tools no yeah we have two tools if I want to grow increase my hand size but I need five one two three and I want to keep two of these one of the things I want to do is I'm going to spend a blue or yellow once per turn I'm going to regress him a little bit and that is all I'm doing um, it is uh, I will refill for five one two three four five perfect we are down to our he does have a blue here that he could get and he does have an orange so we are in a, oh no that's a red and he already has the yellow so there's not a lot of danger of winning so that's a one next another one and yet whoops a six so we're going to start with the six one two three four five six he is in the sixth position but there's nothing there we don't have that card we don't have a tool do we have no uh, so he will just lose this card here we'll come over here one no one okay one uh, he already has that crystal there's nothing to remove here. There's no cards to remove here. There's no tools to remove here. He just removes that card, which is too bad because he would have lost. But the robot managed to avoid that. He gets attacked by the red bacteria. Everything moves down. I refill. Hmm, I would like, hopefully we get him a yellow, nice yellow, uh, I don't, okay, we have a green. Hmm, green, I would give him red maybe. He already has the black crystal. I, I'm going to keep that, um, green, green, he already has, he doesn't have the orange crystal. Okay, I think we'll give him the a yellow tool right there. We are back to, can I buy anything? We could try again. Do we have more greens? One, two, four. I have one crystal, two crystals, and I can get rid of two non-crystals in my hand, but I may not be able to. Two non-crystals in my hand. Yeah, I do actually. So I'm going to take the two non crystals for four because uh, I have one two and I'm going to buy the mimic because I have two greens that means I can um, if he gets one more green he is going to lose I am going to put up six one two three four five and six it is his turn now oh that's let's hope Two, a six, and a four. Okay, starting with the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Black crystal already has two. Nothing on either side. The stomach card, gone. Again, that just hurts so much. A tool in sixth place, no, we'll just do, lose the card. There we are. Okay, four. One, two, three, four. Do we have a crystal? No. Card? No. Tool? No. Neither side. We just lose the card. Two. We have a tool right there. So we'll take that. He gets attacked by the blue. We move everything up. We're back to mine where I'm going to refill. I still would like to get a, if I can get a, some yellow out there, which I don't have. Well, uh, maybe we can get a couple of blue on them. There's a green. No, let's go. Um, let's go green. It's already got. No, he doesn't have that. Whew. Red. Sheesh. Um. Green, that's six. I'm going to have to put out one of these. 
uh, green crystal, blue crystal, orange crystal, which he doesn't have, and green crystal. So I'm going to give him the green crystal way at the end here. I'm going to take four cards. One, two, three, four. We're almost at the end of the deck. So we're getting into some dangerous. Can I buy anything? Not really. Two purples, no. Okay, so. Uh, okay. A two. A three. A three. Starting here, three. One, two, three. No. We do not have a gem. No, we don't have bacteria. No, we don't have a stomach card. Do we have a tool? Yes. Gone. This three, is there a gem? No. Is there a card? No. Is there a tool? Yes. Gone. Two. Gem. Tool. Yes. Gone. Blue attacks. He's lost the, one of the red gems. Uh, so he's at three. Okay. Well, we are in a danger zone for him. So if he gets a red or yellow... There is a good chance that we can end the game if if a, a red or yellow. So, I mean, we if I can get another red in, perhaps, there's a red. And there's another, maybe we'll put a blue in. Uh, there's that orange crystal. There's really not a lot I can do. Well, I could put a green in. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll put a six. And we'll put the seventh card here. Okay. And we'll refill to four. That's pretty much almost the end of the game. So we cannot refill our hand. Okay. So we have triggered the end of the game because we have not been able to fill our hand, as you can see. So the robot player, robotic player is going to get one more turn. So who knows what's going to happen. We still could, he still could lose. One, one, and one, and four. So he's going to start with the four. One, two, three, four. He cannot take a crystal. There's no card for him to get. There's no tool. There's no red on either side of this guy. This card just goes. We are going to go to the one, no crystal, but there is a tool. So pretty much that there is no, not going to be a red, red to attack me, which is unfortunate. There is no tool. There's no crystal. I should say there is no green on either side. There is no card. There is a tool that goes. I, he, it gets attacked, which means it goes up to the third spot. That is the end of the game. So the way this works basically is he's going to get one point. One, two, three, four, five points, plus four points for his regression. Now, he may have had a tool, so he might have five points. So we have, he might have ten. We'll, we'll call it ten. It might be nine. Um, I'll call it, when I watch through the video, we'll do it. The way I get points, of course, is I'm going to get... Uh, points for the immunity response which is actually um, backwards as you can see I've done it backwards because I should have started here so actually this should be one two three this should be one two three this should be two which is fine one two and this should be sorry one two and this should be one which is exactly where he is should be actually one two three because I went the wrong way so keep in mind that everything gets changed in the phase so I would actually have two points three points, five points, seven points. But I also would lose points for any crystals that are in my hands. So that's six points, five points, four points. And I should have been sort of looking at that towards the end of the game. So what, regardless of where the regression track is for the miner, the miner did win in the alternative ending. He gets pooped out with a number of gems with enough points to win. That is uh, 
so you've been eaten. So you've been eaten by a robot, and so you've been eaten by a monster. The only thing I didn't show you was a two versus one versus one because I can't because I'm only one person. I could show you the robots versus the hibernation, but I, I can't even imagine how boring that would be to play. Maybe, but let's have some final thoughts. So just before I clean this all up, uh, let's just talk about this game very, very quickly. This is a no doubt a gateway filler game. It is a 5-5-5 five, five, five game, absolutely. Five minutes to set up, uh, five minutes to learn the game, five minutes to tear it all down, more or less. So it is gateway, it is filler. It is not that complicated. In the first turn, you saw me win as the miner. In the second turn, the robot miner won, and I lost as the beast. Um, I probably could have done it, played more optimum. I think I made some mistakes, but at the end of the day, I, I basically lost five. I only had wound up with like four points, and even if he was at two, he had five gems. So he'd seven to four, maybe, you know, that, that. So I've lost. Component-wise, this is the collector's edition, so you can see we have some beautiful acrylic pieces. Uh, the boards are pretty nice, though. I could see some uh, separation already. You can see right there. Um, so do be careful with these puzzle pieces. I think that if there was a neoprene mat, I would probably go off and buy it. A two-sided neoprene mat would be really, really nice. The dice are fine. The wooden tokens are fine. Uh, the, the cards, though, I've sleeved them, are actually very good feel in my hand, even though I am a compulsive sleever. Uh, it was, there was a really good feel to this. It was fun. Uh, I don't, it's not a heavy game, so if I was going to compare this to Fallen Sky, which a lot of people compare it to, or even Astro Force, I would say this ranks in terms of fun. It's fun. But it's light, very, very light. Lots of replayability because you never know what cards are going to come out, which way it's going to go. I didn't find this much use in this game because every time I turned around, these cards just got bailed. So there's a good chance that you're never going to get there <laughs> in play. Uh, so it's not a factor in the... Uh, the hybrid, the, the beast scenario, playing the beast scenario. I think in a two, uh, a one versus uh, one versus one, or, or minor versus beast, it it's going to play a major major role. So I think the advantage of the hibernating v beast versus the robotic miner falls to the robotic miner. I think in the minor versus the hibernating beast, the advantage seems to fall to the miner. And that's based on a, a couple of quick plays before I, 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 I actually tape this. So keep that in mind, that if you're going to replay it, you're probably going to want to replay it more from the Miner than the Beast. Uh, not that the Beast wasn't fun, but I think this is going to shine in two players because it's an easy to set up, easy to teach game. And I think there'll be a lot of take that. And take that is fun in a two versus two or one versus one, I should say. So uh, keep that in mind when you buy it. It's not an expensive game. I, I, I think it's only, I think retail, it's like $30 if you're lucky. I'd give or take $5. I think I, was, I think 401s was $26.95. Could be wrong. We'll check that out. But that is all I have to say about uh, So You've Been Eaten. It is a fun game. It is from Scott Elms, our tiny epic uh, designer, along with Kwanache Mariah. Uh, sorry, I may have butchered that name badly. So that is all I'm going to say about that. If you like what you've seen, please hit the like. Click, 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 click. Smash the subscribe button. Boy, I'll tell you how much time this takes. And it really just appreciates just hitting, it takes five seconds to hit the subscribe button. And it really just shows that you were watching and paying attention. This is the third video. I'm going to divide this down. Hit the bells for more notification, of course. Uh, one thing I will say, I do have another foster puppy. Donate to your local dog, cat, or animal shelter. Please, please spay and neuter your animals. Watch for tabletop games and cafe, or tabletop cafe and games. No, tabletop, watch for 
Tabletop Games and Cafe. That is coming to Yellowknife in the fall. I will be part of that. I will be there. I will be videotaping. I will be running some retail stuff. Uh, so keep that if you're in Yellowknife or live in Yellowknife. Keep that in mind. Looking forward to it. Um, beyond that, I am out. I got to go to work. I've got a puppy to feed. Goodbye, everybody.